All right, so today we're going to have a look at uh, an EWAG. This is made in Switzerland in a town called Solothurn. Solothurn. And uh, this is a model RS12. Uh, what this is, is a really cool uh, tool grinder uh, for grinding uh, carbide inserts and some other new materials, hard materials, but mainly this is for grinding uh, cutting tools. Uh, you can resharpen your, your inserts. Um, it's got a really cool fixture on there that you can swivel and rotate in all kinds of angles and degrees, plus a, a swiveling um, <coughs> a rotary base on here. Um, and also you've got your compound with your, with your two slides going that way. Up here you've got a measuring apparatus for after you uh, cut the tool, if you were working with a drawing or a um, kind of thing that you could put inside of here uh, to follow, uh, you could check your, your work, make measurements and see where you're going. But this is something that you can use manually uh, to make one-off uh, very complicated little pieces of tooling, whether they're whether they're uh, cylindrical or flat or, or actually inserts. Uh, there's a couple of uh, accessories that uh, you can clamp a workpiece. This is a little uh, channel here that's got some set screws from the side where you can clamp in uh, a tool post, a tool holder right off of a lathe. And this comes out of here when you uh, lo unloosen the clamp. There's also a holder which holds a, a type of collet. So obviously here we have our spindle and we have a movement that goes in and out. There's also a, a faster movement. Um, and you can shut this movement off altogether and have control with just this hand wheel here. And there's even a finer hand wheel here to give you even a finer ratio uh, to move this. Now this is all mounted on roller bearing slides. Um, the slide for the in, your work going into the wheel uh, has a manual uh, measuring point. When you're in the rear position, uh, you notice that the light came on on the comparator. Uh, that's because they only want you measuring and looking at your tool when you're at a safe distance. When you bring this back into the part, the light automatically goes off. Now you see this has like a little, when you bring it in and let go, it it's slowly uh, cushions itself down to a positive stop. And only when it's forward uh, can you now move this slide in and out with this dial here, with this knob here. This allows you to go, you know, actually grind that tool there. All right. So you got your cover here. This has an outside guard that can rotate around. Uh, this is your water for the coolant. And then uh, you've got these compound slides here that go in and out. This one's locked. That go in and out. Moves all the way back on that. And then the bottom here, um, you know, you can set it on zero, or you've got these stops here, and you can slowly move them out with the fine adjustable screws, or you can move the stop all the way out and, and swivel this thing as you, as you know, in certain applications. Um, the fixture here, you need a little uh, something to put in here to loosen this, this, this screw clamp. Well, first of all, you, you, have, you have this movement. So you need a couple of tools. So if we lock this down with a 10 millimeter wrench so that it doesn't move on me. And I guess at this point it'd be a good idea to shut that spindle off. All right. So when you loosen this up, that drops down and you're allowed to take your little tool holder off. So you can put whatever, in this case they're sharpening, uh, one of these carbide inserts. There's also <clears throat> one for holding a small type of collet. Now I'm not sure what type of collet this is, but again it goes in here and you clamp this and once you tighten this clamp on the side here, that's locked in there nice and tight. And this can be rotated I suppose. Uh, there's different things you can do with, with that. The machine also comes with the one grinding uh, diamond wheel that's on it, plus there's a, two additional diamond wheels uh, also used to come with it. Now this fixture here, 
Um, <clears throat> this whole thing has a uh, little eccentric cam, so you don't want to tighten any one of these things too much because that's not how they're made to be. They're made just to be loosened and then you have uh, movement this way as well as movement this way. All right, so with this, all these different movements, plus being able to turn this, plus this can be pitched. This has a, uh, which one is it? That can go in different angles as you crank this. And um, of course it's harder to go down with it, but you can set that back to zero. You have the line right here. And um, you can come up with any, any possible configuration or angle or, or whatever you need to do with this. So this is a very expensive fixture, I'm sure. It's part of the machine. You can't really work without it. Let me just give this a little twist and it's locked. And a little twist and it's locked. And then you've got your four little feet that lock it into the dovetails. You can pull this out and move it over or move it out, move it back, move it forward. So um, over here you've got a control for bringing your, your light source and your, your inspection uh, equipment down. You've got a, uh, a slide here where you can make fine adjustments move this light over. You've got a mechanism here. You could lock this if you wanted, but just for the video I've got it loose. This is your fine focus as you're watching your, your image in the window. Um, you'll see it come into focus. Electrics on this is 220 volts. Um, basically uh, it's what you see here. A coolant system is also with the machine. We just don't have it in the video. Uh, it'll be shown in the photos and um, it's wired for 220 volts. And it's a really nice machine in really nice condition. We've put all brand new uh, Bijur uh, uh, metering units. All the fittings are brand new. All the lines are new. Uh, everything's been flushed out. It's been cleaned up. We've taken off the bellow covers here and we've cleaned up underneath the slides and examined those. So uh, it's all ready to go. That's the EWAG. Thank you.